We're doing some more seed sowing today and today the seeds are going to be sown in batches. We're going to re-sow some aubergine. These are early long purple free from Wilco's. There was a request made that we have some purple ones. The previous batch are white and they were F1 variety called Clara. So we're going to sow some of these today. We are also going to sow some tomatoes. And the tomatoes that we're going to sow today are the Roma VF and Marmon tomatoes. I've had a lot of success previously with the Marmon. They're a great big beefy beefsteak tomato with green shoulders. are quite sizeable and they're quite productive really. So I never see any reason not to actually sow them again. On the other hand, Roma are the first for this year. These are a plum tomato and these were also requested. The idea is that we sow these today, the, the marmond and the roma, and then we're going to sow in maybe a week or so, once the heater propagator has started to empty out, Isla Craig and Tigerella. Isla Craig is quite similar to the marmond, it's a bit smaller, still quite fleshy, it's got a nice flavour. Tigerella is just a bit of a funny tomato, it's a stripy tomato in the, in the star anyway, and it turns red. We're going to sow the seeds into the jiffy pellets here. These have been warmed and watered with some hot water rather than cold water and the pellets are now nice and fluffy. We'll sow the seeds, hopefully there will be some marmand and roma and then we'll have a batch of the purple aubergine from Wilco's. These will be put into the heat propagator, hopefully they will all fit. And over the next week or so we'll start fishing them out and then we'll sow the second batch of tomatoes. The danger in having them in the heated propagator is that they do dry out, so it's important to keep an eye on them. And that does mean that germination rates can vary. That is why I've grown so, sown so many seeds. Some of the seeds may end up being duff. But all being well, we'll have some seedlings of aubergines and tomatoes.